Hello everyone. So in this chapter we are going to talk about working directory, staging area and local git repository. Once we clone the repository from remote to our local, a dot git folder is created which is our local repository and then from that local repository a working directory is created. So working directory has all the file where we work and then there is a staging area in between so how it works is like whenever you clone a source you uh, you will be getting files like for the example if you see here i have readme.txt first.txt and hello.txt so this is my working directory okay and then we have uh, one intermediate stage known as the staging area so any changes we do we do in the uh, working directory after that those changes are moved to the staging area so any changes which are stays are marked for the next commit or you can say are marked for the next snapshot of the repository so what so what happens is we do the changes in working directory we create new file or we create a new file or we modify existing file or we delete any file any operation we perform those will be done in working directory once the changes are done we move those changes to our intermediate stage which is known as staging area as well as it is called index as well from there we move our changes to git repository and they become part and they become the they become permanent part of git history so how we can do it so for the example like if i am creating a new file test.txt hi I am learning about working directory. So test.txt is a new file uh, which is in our uh, working directory as well as readme.first.txt and hello.txt. So all these are constituting a working directory. Okay. Once this changes has been done we can add that we can add those changes to our staging area using git add command so git add test.txt so it will be it will be added to our staging area and then we can push these changes that add.txt now as it is in our staging area it will be it it has been marked for the next commit so whenever i will do any commit to my local repository this test.txt will become the part of my repository. Okay. So this is how it works like using git in it or git clone we get the local repository and then we have the works, uh, workspace to work. We have the working directory. So whenever we do any changes, those changes we move to our staging area or index using git add or git remove git mv git add for basically adding the changes to your staging area git rm like if you have removed any file or git mv if you have renamed any file okay so after that if we do git commit so those changes which are in this staging area index right will move to the local repository so and it will become the part of our commit history once we are satisfied with our changes using git push command we can push our changes to the remote repository and the same way like if you want to get the changes from the remote repository we can get those changes in our working space using git pull command and from the remote if you want to get the changes from remote repository to your local repository you can do using git fetch and then you can merge or rebase those changes to your working directory okay and you can reset or move from one source code to another source code in 
you are working directly using git checkout head git reset minus hard commands and all so we have various options to do that so in this chapter basically the main thing was to we were supposed to understand was we have a working directory a intermediate stage known as the staging area and local repository so we do our changes in working directory or workspace and then we move our changes to intermediate stage okay this intermediate stage uh, so any changes which are in this staging area is committed to local repository when we run the git commit command thank you very much